Heights, Utah leaders and jazz owner Ryan Smith sharing their vision for a brand new look in downtown Salt Lake City with the jazz and a potential new hockey team right at the center. A lot of potential changes mm -hmm. here, but lawmakers and city leaders say they want to make sure everyone in that area is being considered with the potential changes. For more on that story, we go live to ABC 4's Jonathan May at the state capitol for us this evening. Jonathan, what can you tell us? Emily, Brian, lawmakers like Senator Luce Escamilla voted in favor of SB 272, the bill that would create a proposed sports and entertainment district in downtown Salt Lake City. But the senator is asking everyone talking about this proposed district to be responsible and remember an historic part of downtown. As this so-called uh, sports area expands, we hope it will not uh, eliminate uh, what Japantown was. This is a very small remnant of what it was. Japantown, located along 100 South next to the Salt Palace Convention Center, where you can see the past come to life, like the historic site of the Japanese Church of Christ, built in 1924. It's been over a century now that Japanese have been part of uh, Utah history. At the last Senate hearing on SB 272, here's what one lawmaker said about the community here. I want to make sure that it's on the record just how imperative it is that the Japanese American community it's at the table on this very critical part of our city and of our state. A critical area that changed in the 1960s after the Salt Palace Arena was built as downtown Salt Lake City used to be home to a large Japanese neighborhood. It just totally eliminated all the commercial elements of Japantown. And there were no plans to relocate it. Uh, they just had to disperse and do what they could do. Now there's eyes on the future and the potential for the area to change again. Salt Lake City is the urban core of the capital city. It belongs to all of Utah. History teaches us that when we fail to invest in our urban centers, that the regional economy suffers. Utah jazz owner Ryan Smith sharing his vision by posting what looks like a new walkable district with a reimagined arena in the center. Salt Lake City leaders say they will partner with the community to help make it happen. Mayor Aaron Mendenhall had to say this when speaking about the bill. Our longtime community partners, particularly our Japanese and Japanese American community, and they will have a seat at the table. Other Salt Lake City leaders said they are thrilled to honor the, Amer the Japanese American heritage in downtown Salt Lake City by re reinvigorating what downtown looks like. Live in Salt Lake City, Jonathan May, ABC4 News.